saw the opportunity na ang daming mga Pilipino na nagpe-retire ng pensyon, ng ipon, habang during the productive period ay napupunta lamang sa medical expenses post-retirement. Hi sir, saw this need na kailangan may health care program na magko-cover even beyond 60. This is the time na most of us get sick of it. So it's far more than an HMO. It is duly accredited to the IC or the Insurance Commission before it was under the Department of Health. But since this is a highly reg regulated industry, the financial industry from DOH, it is now under the Insurance Commission. It is also registered under the SEC or the Securities and Exchange Commission as a healthcare provider with an authorized stock capital of 160 million pesos, which is more than triple of the 50 million minimum required by the SEC. It's currently led by the President and Medical Director of Kaiser, who is Dr. Leia Uyolo. She was a former Senior Vice President of Medicare Health Systems Inc. for eight years, and she was also a former professor of the Faculty of Pharmacy, Medical Technology, and Biochemistry of the University of Santo Tomas in Manila. She is also a residency trainer at the Department of Pediatrics of the Memorial Medical Center in Quezon City. In this discussion, I made an outline compartmentalized with the hope that it will be easier to understand. And for my part, it will be easier to discuss. I divided the discussion into four parts. The first part will be the first seven years, which is what we call the accumulation period. Ito yung panahon na nagpabayad tayo or nag-invest. Three years sa contract ng obligasyon natin ay seven years lamang. After the seven years, we, no, we now call it extended period which covers the 8th to the 21st year. So after natin magbayad on the 7th year, it will be followed with extended period. And after the 20th year, after it matured, we now enter in the so-called long-term care period. In this period, we can feel the worth it yung sacrifices natin to invest on part 1, to wait on part 2, and now, more or less, we are retired. Dito napapasok yung importance at significance ng long-term healthcare natin from Kaiser. The last part would be some important information and reminders that I want to discuss to clients, to prospective clients about Kaiser. So let's start. First part is the accumulation period. These would include the area inside this rectangle. On this case, we have a client age 22 since seven years ang period of payment, it will finish at the age 29. During this payment period or accumulation period, ito yung benefits niya, yung nasa box na yan. We will discuss those benefits and details in the next few slides. So let's examine the numbers on this, on this illustration. Plan type is K100. Installment amount is 58,000 plus a year, although you can have it monthly, quarterly, semi-annual, or spat cash. The contract price is equivalent to times 7 of the annual premium, which amounts to 411,750. For the accumulation period, one of the benefits is the annual physical exam, which includes chest x-ray, complete blood count, stool and urine analysis, ECG or electrocardiogram for policyholders 35 and up, what if younger than 35, as long as prescribed the doctor. 
And for women 35 years old and above, they have yung pap smear test. Again, what if younger, basta prescribe the doctor. For the dental benefits, we have simple tooth extraction. Bakit simple? Just to emphasize na cases like wisdom tooth or more complicated than that, hindi siya covered with art. We also have dental cleaning or oral prophylaxis, which is once a year. Then we have pasta or temporary fillings, presentational chocolate, crowns, onlays, inlays. Resimentation lang, the jacket itself, crown, postizo, dentures, braces, much more implant, hindi yung cover. Then we have dental checkups, dental consultations, what if kinailangang ma-hospitalize or ma-confine, operahan, yung fee ng physician, specialist, surgeon, or anesthesiologist, will be covered by Kaiser accordingly to the schedule of benefits which is included in the contract. Operating room fees or what if kailangang ICU or intensive care unit, the room and board, and this all would be subjected to the annual benefit limit. In this case, yung K100 na plan, Annual benefit limit is 60,000. Maraming tao na react para ang liit naman ng 60,000 compared sa short-term healthcare na pwedeng 100,000 per illness per year. Kasi yung 60,000 na annual benefit limit in the case of long-term healthcare accumulated siya. Hindi siya per illness per year. I would just tell them hindi siya pwedeng i-compare kasi ang short-term really is designed for immediate consumption. Ang long term naman is really designed for like after 20 years pa or 15 years. Sa short term, pwedeng buy ka ng bayad with or without or nagbabayad yung kumpanya mo with or without utilization. Sa long term healthcare, we'll find out later on na may bonus or may advantage kung hindi mo siya ginagamit or utilize habang nagbabayad ka. And as well, our benefits include during the accumulation period yung tinatawag na term life insurance. In this case, the coverage is 450,000 pesos. If natural death, 450,000 pesos ang magiging claim. Pero what if ang cost ng death ay accident? So that will be doubled. Hence, 900,000. What if nawala ng kamay, nawala ng paa, that is what we call him dismemberment. So, loss of two feet or loss of two hands, so that would be equivalent to 100% of the life insurance coverage, which is 450,000. Meron din tayong waiver of installment and premiums due to total and permanent disability. What if yung policy holder on the third year na aksidente, hindi na matay pero na disabled? So, dapat yung disability should be total and permanent. Rendering na yung policy holder wala ng capacity to work, wala ng capacity to earn income, kaya i-wave yung natitirang premium. And as well, what if namatay habang nagpabayad within the 7 years, i-wave na rin yung natitirang premium. Example, namatay yung policy holder on the 3rd year, Ilan pang taon yung tira? So, 4, 5, 6, 7, yung apat na taon na hindi pa bayad, wave na premium nun. Kung sino man ang beneficiary niya, i-release ang Certificate of Full Payment plus the Term Life Insurance Claim. Whatever should be received, if hindi na matay yung policyholder, ay marireceive nung nag-takeover ng plan on maturity. Hindi deductible yung insurance claim. Later on, we're gonna discuss that. And we also have yung tinatawag na family assistance services. Sa uh, short-term healthcare, meron tayong term na dependent na pwedeng kang may enrollees under your card being the principal. 
Dito naman sa long-term healthcare, since this is an individual account, ikaw lang talaga yung covered ng plan. But then, Kaiser is kind enough to have this family extension service or assistance. Anong ibig sabihin na to? What if ikaw lang yung Kaiser long-term policy holder? May isang family member na, na ospital, pwede mong i-extend yung membership mo so that that family member could avail yung rate ng pangcard. We know na ang rate ng healthcare card company ay much cheaper on the average 30% compared kung cash payer ka or walk-in. To summarize, yung part 1 natin na accumulation period or paying period, these are our benefits. So we have the annual physical exam, we have the dental benefits, we have the room and board, annual benefit limit, a waiver of installment due to disability and as well due to death, we have term life insurance, we have accidental death and dismemberment, and lastly, we have the family assistance. So from part one, the paying period or the investing period, sometimes I call it investing period, will be followed by part two, which we call the extended period, which covers the eighth to the twentieth year. The benefits for this period, number one, you have the so-called 10% annual health benefit. 10% of your plan type. In this case, you have K100 or 100,000, so that would be 10% of 100,000, which is how much? 10,000. So these 10,000, hindi siya cash, but you can use this for medical claim, like nagpa-check up ka, nag-consult, or part ng hospital bill mo. What if hindi mo na consume yung 10,000? So that would be rolled over to the following year. At ang maganda dito, yung interest the, previ the previous year, mali interest then the following year. How is that? So dito, meron tayong 10,000 on the 7th year, so 10,000. Dapat ang total dito is 20,000 lang, right? Pero bakit naging 21,000? Because nag 10% yung 10,000 the previous year. So 10,000 plus 10,000 plus 10% 10 of 10,000 is equal to 21,000. A lot of people would say, Marjun, bakit 10% lang nung 100,000? Bakit hindi 10% nung buong binayad ko? Again, that would be too aggressive. Alalahanin din natin na hindi siya pure investment. Kasi si Kaiser, di ba, meron tayong term life insurance, may annual physical exam tayo. Doon pa lang sa paying period, we have like 10 benefits. So, hindi pwedeng right after the 7th year, 10% na kaagad nung buong dinayad natin. Again, may risk din na tinake si Kaiser. Eh, for me, yung 10% of 100,000 would be fair enough and at least healthy or sound strategy ng isang financial institution. Kasi pwedeng sabihin, no, 10% nung buong binayad, that would be too aggressive. Baka naman pumalya yung kumpanya. So again, everything is designed and everything is planned. First, again, we have the 10% annual health benefit. Mapapansin natin dito, di ba 7 years to pay, tapos 13 years yung extended period. So 7, 13. 7 years to pay, 13 years to mature. 10,000 a year for 13 years. 10,000 times 13, dapat 130,000 lang siya. Pero bakit naging 269,750, which is more than double of 130,000? Because the interest is compounding or compounded. Yung interest the previous year ay nag interest din, and so on and so forth. Second, we have the additional health benefit. We have 10% of our planning here. Then we have an additional health benefit which ranges from 3% to 13% of a portion of what we invested during the 7-year accumulation period. Yung base na yun, hindi yun tindi declare, but this will give us an idea that this is variable and it really depends on the market, on the performance of the market. The 
third benefit during the extended period is the long-term care benefit, which is equivalent to our plan type or plan name. We have 100,000, hence we have 100,000 here. Next to that is the long-term care bonus. Ito yung tinatawag na money back. Remember that during the accumulation period, may annual benefit limit tayo na 60,000, which can be used if ever we were hospitalized. Pero what if hindi mo siya nagamit kasi may short-term healthcare ka from the company? Yung 350,000 na to, imamani back sa'yo, which is equivalent to 85% of the total contract price. 85% of 411,750 is 350,000. What if once mo lang nagamit yung 60,000 during the 7-year paying period, prorated ba siya? Hindi. All or nothing. Kahit once mo lang siya ginamit, hindi mo pa na-maximize yung 60,000, mawawala yung 350,000. So, I really advise, if mas practical naman, na i-shoulder na lang natin, para makuha natin yung money back. Again, ang Kaiser ay designed for long-term healthcare. Hindi siya for immediate consumption. Kaya itong long-term healthcare natin, is much better if it goes along well with a short-term healthcare. Total that you'll get on maturity or on the 20th year, in this case, di ba 29 na tapos yung example natin, so 42 years old na siya nun, if we get the total of this, will amount to 1,166,169. At this stage, 166 we call yung maturity ng plan good as cash na tong pera na to. May option ngayon si policy holder kung stay put, partial withdrawal, or full withdrawal. But I would advise na stay put or kung mag-withdraw man, partial. Why? Because after this, i-reposition yung pera natin, i-reinvest yan sa facility na medium to low risk. Projected average is 10% a year compounded. Example, after maturity, a year after that, we'll be having 10% of this, which will be equal to 116,617. So, may option si policy holder kung kunin niya yung interest or again, stay put para mag-interest the following year. What if hindi niya ginagalaw? Umabot ng 2 million. So, yung 2 million na yun, good as cash. What if nagkasakit siya, 200,000 ang bill, 2 million minus 200,000, how much is the balance? 1.8 million. Yung 1.8 million na yun, yun yung isa subject sa 10% interest. What if hindi naman nagkakasakit, hindi na hospitalized? Again, we said it's as good as cash. So, pwede kang mag-withdraw, but whatever the running balance is, mag-withdraw ka ng 200,000 from your 2 million, the running balance is 1.8 million, the following year, 10%, will be based on 1.8 million. What if hindi talaga ginagalaw ni policy holder? Aabot yung sa long-term care period, umabot siya ng 60 years old, wala siyang ginawang withdrawal or consumption, projected here at the age of 60, this 1.17 million would amount to 6 million 483,800. Hindi niya pa rin ginalaw, umabot ng 65, that would be 10,442,224. Ang dito mo mas ma-appreciate si Kaiser, kasi kung hindi ka man nagkakasakit, this is good as cash. Just imagine, 10% of 10 million is 1 million. 1 million divided by 12 is 80 plus thousand. So parang nagka-pension ka na rin na 80,000 plus a month. Ma-appreciate mo yung design ni Kaiser. On the first 20 years, may insurance ka to address yung first risk. Diba? What if may mangyari? What if I die too soon? What if I get disabled? At least may insurance at may waiver of premium. To the second risk naman, which is the opposite of the first, what if I live too long? Magasto, mabuhay. Or what if magkasakit ako pag tumanda na tayo? At least meron kang fund dedicated for your medical needs. Kung hindi ka malagkakasakit, again, this is as good as cash, so you can treat it as a pension. 
Therefore, we can see na yung design decaiser ay from insurance, transitioning to investment, and all throughout health is something we have for life, all throughout my healthcare tayo, lalong-lalo na during old age, the time that we need it most. What are the benefits on this extended period? And during outpatient, checkups, consultations, kasi dun sa pain period, hindi covered yung ay, uh, nahihilo ako or may sakit ata ako, mag-drop by ako sa clinic. Ika-clarify ko or i-clear ko na hindi covered yun during the pain period. Ang covered lang is yung sort of check-up during the annual physical exam. Here, on the extended period, covered na siya. So, patient would include yung check-ups, consultation, or diagnostic tests, laboratory tests. That would also include yung inpatient. Na-hospitalized ka, kailang i-confine. Then, the pre-existing illnesses would now be covered. Kasi dun sa first seven years, of course, safety din ni Kaiser or protection din ni Kaiser, baka naman lahat ng kumuha yung masakit na, I think across industry, yung pre-existing illnesses hindi outright i-cover. So dito, during the extended period, covered na siya. As well as with the dreaded diseases. Hindi rin yan covered during the first seven years. Now, during the extended period, covered na siya. And as well, yung maternity. Karamihan, nagsasabi, bakit hindi covered ang maternity outright? hindi naman sakit ang pagbubuntis, di ba? Or pag-deliver. But then, right here, on the extended period, i-cover na siya ni Kaiser. Then, may term life insurance tayo. During the pain period na 7 years, that would be extended until the 20th year. 7 plus 13, so total na meron tayong term life insurance coverage would be 20 years. That coverage of 450,000 if natural death would become doubled if accidental. And during this extended period, what we mentioned earlier, meron siyang 10% of your plan name. In this case, 10% of 100,000 is 10,000 a year compounded annually. Here the bonus, this is in a form of dividend. And if you mention dividend, this is not actually always guaranteed. To summarize the second part, which is the extended period spanning from the 8th to the 20th year, we have outpatient benefits, inpatient benefits, pre-existing illnesses are now covered, dreaded diseases are now covered, maternity, we have term life insurance, Accidental death and dismemberment, 10% yearly health benefits, and lastly, we have the yearly bonus. Kaiser is integrated with PhilHealth. Pag na-hospital ka, nagkasakit ka, kung ano man yung coverage na ipoprovide ni PhilHealth for that particular operation or sickness, kay PhilHealth muna. Then whatever is left, According to limit ng Kaiser plan mo or magkano ang value niya, sa kapalang papasok si Kaiser. What if walang PhilHealth yung policy holder? As a policy, isho-shoulder nung policy holder yung dapat sana makover ni PhilHealth kung may PhilHealth siya or enforce yung PhilHealth niya. After which, dun palang papasok si Kaiser. Again, I would like to remind, mura lang naman ang monthly premium ni PhilHealth, I think 200 or 300 pesos lang naman a month. So please, kung expired or wala kang PhilHealth, i-reinstate na natin or magsimula ng maghudog ulit. Some important information about the policy, may grace period siya. Anong importance ng grace period? What if monthly yung mode of payment mo? Dinaon mo sa sweldo every 15th of the month. Pero nagka-emergency. Hindi ka nakabayad on the 15th. May 30 days ka na allowance to settle your premium. So during that 30-day 
grace period in force pa rin lahat ng benefits mo. What if hindi pa rin mabayaran nakalipas ng 30 days? Maglalaps na yung policy. If a policy is lapsed, lahat ng benefits ma-freeze. What if naka-12 installments ka na margin sayang naman yung dinayad ko? Kaiser also offers yung tinatawag na reinstatement period. Reinstatement, ibig sabihin, pwede kang mamahinga, maximum is 2 years. Then after which, or before mag-2 years, kailangan mo siyang i-reinstate para lahat ng binayad mo before makakount pa rin. Anong consequence nito? Diba? Dapat after the 7th year, kung nabayaran mo religiously, dapat tapos ka na. So, after the 7th year, dapat mag interest na siya. What if na mahinga ka sa pagbabayad for 2 years? So, instead na after the 7th year, mag interest to be fair with Kaiser, plus 2 years, so on the 9th year siya, magsisimulang mag interest Plus, of course, to reinstate, may 300 peso fee plus form na kailangang bayaran at isubmit. Cash value surrender is something which I don't encourage. Ito yung isusurrender mo na plan mo na hindi pa nagmature or hindi ka pa natapos magbayad. Bakit hindi ko siya nire-recommend? Kasi just imagine, nag- yung one year mo na bayad, more or less, ang makukuha mo lang equivalent ng isang buwan. Diba? 58,000 yung nilabas mo, ang makukuha mo lang around 5,000. Again, dapat may mindset tayo nagsisave tayo sa Kaiser as preparation for our retirement. One technique is to consider investment or saving program like Kaiser to be one of your utility bills na wala kang choice kung di bayaran. Di ba tayo naman mahig religious magbayad sa telephone bill, cable bill, internet bill. Dapat religious din tayo magbayad at mag-invest sa saving or healthcare program na kinuha natin. Pwede mo i-transfer yung plan and to be safe, dapat yung pagta-transferan as much as possible, dapat mas data. Kasi, hindi pwedeng yung lowest plan i-transfer mo sa malapit na mag-6 years old. And once the plan is transferred, lahat ng benefits no previous policy holder ay nandun na sa new owner ng plan. What if paka-transfer pa lang, na matay or may nangyari dun sa nag-transfer, wala na siyang coverage kasi lahat ng benefits ay nandun na sa bagong policy owner. Mode of payment, we have monthly, quarterly, sa may annual, annual, or sa mga tao na ayaw nang may intindihin for the next 7 years, ginagawa nilang spot cash. But then, with spot cash, na defeat yung purpose ng waiver of installment due to death or disability. Since nabayaran na ng buo, wala nang i-wave na tirang premium. Sa mode of payment, take notice na yung annual, makakatipid ka compared sa monthly. Kung 580 yung monthly, yung annual lalabas times 10 lang nung monthly. Yung semi-annual, makakatipid ka ng isang buwan, Yung quarterly, more or less 500 to 1,000. Anong advantage? What if wala ka pang pang-annual pero may pang-monthly ka? Hihintayin mo ba na sige, iipulin ko muna yung pang-annual ko before ako mag-start para makatipid? I would actually recommend na i-monthly mo na muna kung hindi pa kayang i-annual para outright at least may coverage ka na and at least yung first day mo before ma-finish mo yung plan or before mo ma-full payment yung plan, nagsimula na. After all, pwede tayong mag-amend ng mode of payment. So from monthly, pwede kang mag-quarterly, semi-annual or annual. The restriction is, hindi pwedeng mag-downgrade. Once you upgraded to semi-annual, your choices are to stick to semi-annual or upgrade to annual. Hindi pwedeng bumalik sa quarter D or monthly. The good thing with Kaiser is it has three components. Kaya tinatawag namin siya na it's a three-in-one product. Number one, it has insurance. From our discussion, 
what are the forms of insurance ni Kaiser? Unang-una, may term life insurance tayo from the 1st to the 20th year. May waiver of installment due to death or disability during the payment period. And may accidental death and dismemberment benefit. So, insurance is to address the first financial risk. What if I die too soon? What if I get disabled? At least, may makukuha yung pamilya mo. Or kung na-disabled ka man, at least may makukuha ka pa rin. The other component is investment. This is to address the second risk in life. Kung ang first risk, namatay tayo kaagad-agad, the second risk naman is what if tumanda ako ng sobra or what if hindi ako mamatay-matay. What if I live too long? Di ba problema din yun? So at least, ang solution dyan is investment. Investment is you have money working for you. From our discussion, lalo na dun sa uh, long-term care period, di, di ba parang may pension ka na rin kasi nag 10% compounded annually yung pera mo. On our example, 10 million, 10% of that is 1 million, so may invest, may passive income ka. 1 million divided by 12, that's more or less 80,000 a month. And most importantly, it has healthcare. Healthcare na long term. Kasi most of the products available in our market, healthcare na i-cover ka lang hanggang 60 years old. Ang maganda kay Ultimate Kaiser Health Builder ay pwede siyang lifetime as long as hindi pa ubus yung pondo natin. Kaiser is a 3-in-1 product. Mahirap kasi kung lalo na kung wala pang ganong cash flow na okay na bibili ka ng insurance so hulog ka sa healthcare, hulog ka sa investment at least with Kaiser sa si isang hulugan more or less na cover mo na yung components ng finances or ng financial foundation natin which includes insurance, healthcare, and investment. Which leads us to the concept of a solid financial foundation. Ano dapat yung itsura ng financial foundation natin na pulido? Ibig sabihin, may mangyari man at least nakatayo pa rin. Hindi yung may nangyari, bumagyo, lumindol, Anong equivalent nun sa finances natin na wala ng trabaho, nagkasakit, tumba tayo kaagad. May benta ng ari-arian, mangutang. So at least that nakatayo tayo, matibay. Anong itsura dapat ng financial foundation natin? Sabi nga natin, health is wealth. Pwede kasing marami kang ari-arian, may naipon ka. Pero kung magkasakit ang isang tao, pwedeng lahat ng inipon niya for 10 years or 5 years, pwedeng isang buwan or less than a year ubus ka agad due to hospital bills or medical expenses. That's why we really extend to people, we really reach out to people to really give importance to healthcare. Short term and much, much impo more importantly, yung long term healthcare. And to address the first risk of life, what if I die too soon, what if I get disabled, dapat meron tayong insurance. Mahirap naman yung namatay tayo, tapos utang ang iniwan, tapos mangungutang pa yung pamilya natin para maipalibing lang tayo. At least with insurance, may matatanggap yung beneficiary, which could go a long way or help them. It's also very important to have emergency fund and to zero out debts. Kasi ang hirap mag-invest if in the first place, ang daming utang na binabayaran at walang utang na walang interest. Lahat may interest. After which, dun pa lang tayo mag-i-invest.